Fish heads, I'm going to apologize in advance this morning. I've got roofers on my next door neighbor's roof. It's a Saturday morning and they're probably going to be there for the, not just the duration of this video, but the duration of the day. So I'm trying to get a few minutes of somewhat quiet time out here. Um, the dogs are going crazy. So we're going to try and get through this update as fast as we can. Good morning. Good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. It's Saturday, September the 5th, September. Already September the 5th, 2020, and this is your workshop update. This is how everything came out from yesterday. You guys saw me do part of this on Facebook. Didn't do a live feed, but it's just um, pretty abstract. I did uh, an acrylic ink pen outline of a, a steer skull which is very popular here in the Southwest. There's a lot of longhorns in Arkansas and also in Texas. And that's just, um, that's just the original version before it, uh, we had a little drip accident on this. So luckily I photographed it several times before it tipped, but it's just, it's fun. I'm going to put it on shirts, um, something completely different because I like doing it. So that is that. I've got a few pieces to show you. This is going to be the first piece that I show you, and it's going to be because I need to put this back on for round two on clear coating. A lot of you guys ask if I have shown how I do clear coat on jointed baits. And yes, there's one on the baby bull shad. I think I made that available. It's on all the spray session playlists. So you guys can go from this channel and hit my playlist and look for spray sessions. And if you see me doing a jointed bait, there is a good chance that at the end of that video, you're going to see me clear coating it. Not everything, but I know I did for uh, painting a baby bull for a basquatch, which was the baby bull shad. I did a run of them. So... This is, the client asked for simple. This is a, a massive order that's going to a tournament angler um, for the end of the season. So he asked for just black on top, silver sides, and an orange throat. One of his favorite go-to patterns for clear water lakes, believe it or not. So there's pens in the bottom of this. Obviously this is a brush on and I don't put any clear coat in this section right here no clear coat at all because the tail has got to go back in there this is from optimum and there's a dilemma that some do some don't um, on whether or not to clear coat the lip of a swim bait I normally don't so if unless there's some kind of junk or stuff that I can't get off of there where it's not completely clear then I'll try and like if there's a scratch on it a lot of times you can get a scratch out by putting clear coat on there but um, normally no no I do not I leave it as it is and it looks pretty good you can see I can show you on this one there is clear coat doesn't hurt the bait if you do it right it stays clear so, but yeah, check out those, uh, check out the spray session playlist and you should be able to find them. Well, what do I want to show you first? You guys, the other question that I get is, do I color grade my photographs? Why would I? Uh, the baits speak for themselves. They're beautiful. You can see that um, there's some depth perception on these. And this is just straight up film camera. There's no color grade on it. These are on Norman Double Deeps. This is the same order. And I have three of them, so we'll bring the other two in. I'm not gonna show you something that's jacked up. Now, occasionally I'll have lens issues or where it'll get washed out and I don't have another shot of it. But most times, I let my baits speak for themselves. This is the actual color 
of this beautiful bait. And if you saw the reference photo that I had, it's absolutely the colors of the purple in that reference photo. So real pretty. Going out to Andy. Again, it's all one big order. Um, these, these are fun. And I know I, I do a lot of mesh on my stuff, but it's just it, the depth that you get from a mesh is far and above what I've been able to replicate anywhere else. So you just, you really start adding in those layers and it brings these baits, especially crawfish, it brings them to life. I love doing that. These are uh, Strike King KVD 5XDs. Just beautiful, 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 beautiful results. And of course the KBS. This is a double clear. This is the second layer on these. And I'm going to show you just there's, and of course you can get thicker depth if you shoot from both sides from one direction and then shoot the next color across the bait the other direction. If you do have a mesh down, that will help. But you guys can certainly see the depth in this bait. And uh, a lot of it is also just real fine detailing and shading along the edges of this cross segment. Huge fan of how these baits turn out. And the KBS, to be honest. Yeah, which is the one? There was one that was just like hands down. I think it's this one. It's a little bit thinner of a mesh. And because I use different meshes, I do runs of these. So I'll have like eight or nine baits meshed up at a time. There's going to be a few differences in how that turns out. One of a kind. So pretty. And again, I apologize for the roofers. Um, what can I say? They need to get their work done. Now this is neat. So I grabbed a few of these 1.5s from Cedar Run. From Andrew over at Cedar Run. And uh, I try and I try and give as many of you here in the states business as possible, and I was just really intrigued by these blanks. And uh oh, ah, well, it looks like I'll have to keep this one myself. <laughs> uh, looks like there's a little blemish up top, but you know what? I bet the fish won't care. And uh, I'm gonna. There we go. Problem solved. Uh, you will see this in an upcoming video. I'll throw it because I am curious about how it how it's gonna swim. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. But uh, really digging this style, and I kept it as transparent as I could. Just super pretty, simple, stripped down, almost a little carp color in the pattern. So yeah, gonna have fun with that. Where is, there it is, sitting right in front of me if it was a snake. So I did the same pattern on one of these foiled 1.5s, which I also got from Cedar Run, from Andrew. And they are gorgeous. And this one is up for grabs. I try and do that once or twice a week for you guys now. On YouTube, for those of you watching this, if you've made it to the ninth minute of this video and you would like this, um, I'm going to give you a couple of days to respond and then I'll probably auction it on Facebook if there's no comments. So first come first serve. We're going to go, um, let's go $14 shipped on this one. Shipping is not cheap anymore, folks. That's a shame. I, I remember when I started this game, like $1.50 to ship up to four ounces. No longer. You're looking at three, four, five dollars. And now it's all done by area and state, so the further the distance, which actually makes sense. I think the post office is probably losing money by not doing that. So by doing that, yeah, they're comping their, hopefully they're comping their workers too. Because it's the workers that end up having to do all the grunt work. This is the Fish Skulls Living Eye on that, in the ice color. 
which is appropriate for a pattern like this. And this is that heavy, heavy single rattle. Love it. Good, good, good sound coming out of that. And then we have, we're going to finish up the video with these three here. This is two white crappie paper mouths. And you guys saw me if you watched uh, yesterday's video. If not, go back, check that out it's real quick, like four or five minutes. Just um, running a stencil against these and then lining to achieve the look of that white crappie. Black crappie, they have a tendency to have a lot more of the modeled pattern throughout and white crappie have a tendency to have that image lined a good bit more. So, and then these are the sixth sense larger pupil eyes that I was talking about. And that's how those turned out. And then we will finish you guys up this morning with this green sunfish. And you can see if you look, that color shifting paint, you can see the green in there as you move this through the light. And the same thing's going to happen in natural lighting. The same thing. So there is green. Somebody was asking if it's a fast back green. It is not. So I've blended together moss green, lime, pearl green, black magenta and the additive that I use frequently which is the Comart pearl pearl opaque and it's just like a clear silver glittery type deal and then I've added in that $40 um, you know what we can edit I'm gonna show you what that is you guys keep asking what that is I'm gonna show you what costs $40 an ounce hang on a second And there, there's some other stuff out there that I want to try eventually that's when I can afford it. It's a little bit more expensive. But this is it. It is schminky. I've been talking about this for a while. Um, Aero color. It's called flip-flop multicolor. It's also been called iridescent, but iridescent's a little bit different than flip-flop. Um, this is the kind of stuff you see on those cars that shift color. So crazy. So this is their um, this is their green silver purple. I think they call it silver violet. It's the actual color, silver violet. And this costs forty. I want to say forty one dollars and some odd cents for this bottle. So it is not cheap, but it is hands down the most insane color shifting paint that I have ever seen in my life. And again, there's some tri Trident is out there. I was watching, um, if you guys ever get a chance, and I'll link them today in this in this description, the Airbrush Asylum, that dude is awesome. And I think he's either Australian or, um, or English. I, he sounds more Australian to me, but I'm wrong. if I'm wrong, I apologize. I'm not trying to dismiss where you're from. I have no idea. I'm sure all of us Americans sound similar. Um, but he is amazing. Like, I literally sat there when I was going to bed last night and watched three 30-minute series of a skull that he did on a motorcycle tank. But he uses a lot of really oddball paints and you can pick up some tips and tricks from him as well. But this is amazing it's um, it's Dutch German it's a German paint company and you can see that is a www.aerocolor.de Denmark or Dutch is is what the DE is for and that's what it is folks and it is amazeballs it's fantastic love it that is all the news is fit to print this morning. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to get back to work here. I hope you have a fantastic Labor Day weekend. I've still got that sale going on, folks. There is still a sale going on through Monday. 15% off everything on the website. Everything, everything, everything. Even these are 15% off. So Now remember, you're not going to get them Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Everything is spray to order. Everything is custom spray to order. But there you go. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Be safe. Have fun. I uh, hope you catch a lot of fish.
catch a few from me. Cheers. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates. <laughs> <laughs>